Hi, I'm Marty Chan, a kids author and storyteller. Today, I'm going to share with you a little writing tip. I know teachers love to use this word, but kids hate to hear it. That word is revision. Now, revision is a very important part of every writer's job. I know sometimes people think that writers come up with an idea, they instantly sit down, they write it, and it becomes a book just like this. Well, the truth is there are many steps along the way and revision is a big part of it. That's where you have to rework your ideas, add some details, make some changes to make the story clearer and more effective for the reader. It's a very important part of the job. And rather than just me tell you about how important revision is, I thought I'd show you with my picture book, True Story. Now, when I sat down with my illustrator, Lorna Bennett, to work on this picture book, the first thing that we looked at is the very same thing that you look at when you start working on a story. Take a look right over here. Inside the book, we always start off with a whole bunch of blank pages. In the beginning, every creator, whether they're writing or illustrating, starts off with blank pages. Don't be afraid of those blank pages because you got great ideas in your brain. You just got to get them down on page. So I want you to pretend that you're a creator, a writer, or an illustrator, or a movie maker. I want you to reach into your brain, pull out a big idea. Okay? Got a big idea in your hand. Now what I want you to do is I want you to toss it at the book. Okay? Toss your big idea at the book. Here we go. Whoa! Okay. Bigger. Oh, no, no. Really big idea. Really big idea. Okay, that's a big idea. Okay, now, when you get those ideas down on page, look at what happens to your story. Your story starts to take shape, right? Now, it looks a little rough right now, so that means your job's not done. That means you have to go back into your brain and find little details to add to the story, because the more details you add to the story, the more it comes to life, okay? So now, uh, reach into your brain, pull out some little details, and throw them at me, okay? Okay. Another one, another one, throw some more details. There we go, now, another one. There we go, excellent, another one. Very good, almost, there we go, good, one more. Good, excellent. So, when you get those details in, let's see what happens to your story. Oh no, you know what? That was not even close to enough details. We need lots and lots of details. Now, both hands, go into your brain, pull out as many details as you can think of, and throw them at me, throw them at me, throw them at me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Throw as many as you can. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, excellent. Now when you get all those details into place, look at what happens to your story. So when you add details and you revise, your story really comes to life. So I want you to remember that when you're working on your stories. Don't stop at the first draft. Go back over it. Add some details. If you think you've got enough, you know you can always add more. And always make sure that the work you put out is the best it possibly can be. I'm Marty Chan, and this is Yabs TV. My thanks to the Young Alberta Book Society for letting me share with you a little writing tip. Take care, and... Have a great day.